I don't know where to go unless we start at the beginning. So I'm going to start at the beginning. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grenadine Ross. Welcome to my RuPaul's Drag Race audition video. This is the beginning of the record you like. Over and over, over and over. This is the beginning of the record you like. Over and over, over and over. <laughs> My name is Darren Fleming. I'm an actor, writer, and comedian in New York City. I am 30 something years old, and I have an alter ego who's named Grenadine Ross, and she is 25 years old. I went to AMDA, which is the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York, and I also have a degree in creative writing from the New School. I started a movie called The Ski Trip, which aired on Logo. Hi, I'm Terry, and this is my friend Corey. Goodbye. And so I said, sure, I'll, I'll come up with a couple of names and we can go from there. I gave him three suggestions, and the last one was Grenadine Ross. He said Grenadine Ross was the funniest hands down, and I was actually happy about that because I always wanted to write a Waiting to Exhale parody, and I wanted my character to be Grenadine, which was the Bernadine character, and I'm kind of nutty like that, so I thought it would be funny. I had to do a bunch of promotional appearances. It's a lot of standing around and people coming up to you and wanting to smile and take pictures with you and flirt with you. And I didn't like the idea of being in a condensed area with a bunch of gay men looking at me like I was dinner. I just couldn't do it. But I found that when I showed up at these autograph signings as Grenadine Ross, it was a different experience. Nobody wanted to sleep with me. They wanted to have drinks and they wanted to laugh. And that's what I needed to do at the time. And so that's how it got started. It was sort of addictive. I was 14 and I played a character named Bertha Bue Miller in a play called Greater Two. Down the You'll get cheerleader next year. And she looks at me with tears streaming down her face and says, Mama, I'm a senior. <laughs> I don't know how to tell my only daughter that she's never going to be <laughs> I saw someone performing Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and it was the most busted performance I had ever seen in my life. And I, he had on this cheap, cheap stripper dress. It's not even like the sticky sequence. It was just like the stripper fabric. It was just cheap. Like it I thought made... to myself, my goodness, if he can make that much money, not even knowing the songs, imagine how much money I can make. I decided to take things a step further and give Grenadine Ross background singers and dancers. All of the other drag queens kept saying, who she thinks she is. People eventually figured it out when I wrote and staged a workshop of my play called Merry Christmas, Love, Grenadine Ross and the Cherries. Following that, I was contacted by the producers of the off-Broadway game show The Ultimate Drag Off to compete as Grenadine Ross, and I said yes. It was good money in a theatrical setting, and the audience seemed to like me. They crowned me the winner of 60s, 70s, and 80s nights consecutively.
Now, even though I do love Diana Ross, I got tired of the, the debates and the comparisons on whether or not I looked like her. And I decided to give her even more of a backstory than just a diva with a bunch of backup singers. The, the one misconception of me is that they think that I'm Diana Ross. And I don't think that I'm Diana Ross. I know who I am. My name is Grenadine Ross. I am the daughter of Diana Ross and Lou Rawls. She's my mother. Never acknowledged me once. It was a one night stand. And she couldn't have that affect her career. So she sent me to live with a cousin in Willacoochee, Georgia. Willacoochee, not a great place to grow up, especially when you're Diana Ross's love child. Some things that she sent me, though, to let me know that she loved me. She sent me to the Willacoochee Black Magic Acting and Temp Academy. They teach you how to be an actor and a temp, because they know you're just not going to get work as an actor. <laughs> um, she sent me this. Out of drag. People think that I'm serious and a lot of people are afraid to come up and talk to me because they said that I'm very stoic and I, I smile, but I don't walk around like this all the time. I'm just like this. So people are afraid to talk to me. In sequins and a giant wig, people come running up to me like, oh my God, you're fabulous. But I'm still the same person. I feel like fur makes everything better, don't you? Yeah. It's so tasty too. I was crowned Miss Fire Island Film Festival in 2008. I was the winner of Boot Camp, a weekly contest at Vlada, where I received my own show, Camp Grenadine Ross. It was sort of like a glass ceiling. There was nowhere else for me to go. I just wasn't interested in jumping around in the dark, lip syncing for $75. And I decided that if this was all that drag had to offer in New York, it was time to put Miss Ross on hiatus indefinitely and focus on Darren.